Hey guys, welcome to tutorial number 29 and in this tutorial we are going to create a map view so on this map view we are going to have um, the nearby car park uh, for cars, heavy vehicles and mo even motorcycles to be shown on the map view so as you click on it it's going to pop up a dialog uh, to show the details of the car park so uh, we're going to make use of the data from LTA data more if you search for LTA data more and then you go to dynamic data set API documentation and then let's look for the table of content let's see mm, car park everybody so which is section 2.12 and these are the information that you can get from sending get request to this URL and update frequency is one minute so we have the car park ID and then area development location which is the latitude and longitude uh, available lots and the lot type and agency so uh, depending on the lot type uh, for cars for heavy vehicles and for motorcycles we will have different uh, logo so we will have different icon C for cars H for heavy vehicle heavy, heavy vehicles and then Y for motorcycles and I think map view uh, by now should be very familiar with it therefore for this tutorial I will go through pretty quick and in the next tutorial we are going to cover the bicycle parking so as you click on the parking it's going to bring us to this page uh, car parking page uh, screen will be loaded first and then as you click on the bicycle parking uh, label button we will bring to bicycle parking screen and in tutorial 30 um, we will be uh, yeah 30 will be bicycle parking and 31 we will learn how to build apk file with using the build dozer and then we want to deploy the, this app into our android font which is super exciting okay and do, to do 32 we want to learn how to publish your app to the google play store okay with some screenshots okay so let's come to step one of uh theorem number 29 uh, we're going to use the data from uh, section 2.12 carbon availability from LTA data more. You can use the postman to check the data response. So I think you can do that on your own. I don't have to show it to you again. But then in the main.py, we want to add a new class for the carbon screen. So let's come back to our app. Let's close this. And then under the profile for the screen, let's add a carbon screen. And then in the main.kv, We want to include the carpark screen.kv which we are going to create in a short while. And under the screen manager, we will add the carpark screen. Save it. And um, so in the KV folder, we are creating a carpark screen.kv. Let's do that. Then let's copy this. Save, paste it here. <coughs> so we're going to have three grid layout under the foot layout. The first one is going to be the cover type, which is going to be our header, um, which is going to be this one. We are leaving a uh, 0.1 space uh, for the cover type label. And then next we will have a map view. The next grid layout is going to be this one. So here we will have an ID of cover map view. The first one, the ID is cover type. And then the next grid layout is going to be our bottom navigation, including a back label button, car parking label button, and then bicycle parking label button. Okay. Now the next thing is when uh, we can come to main.py and then uh, under the change screen function let's add the following so uh, if the screen name is carpark screen we will change the title of the screen to nearby carpark Okay, then we are creating a reference to the carpark map view 
by self.id cover screen.id cover map view. So we will check if this cover map view has got any cover map view class or not. If yes, then we will remove it. And then after we remove it, we will create a new cover map view. And then we will add the map view uh, to the cover map view uh, screen, cover screen uh, grid layout. Okay. Then we will ask our map view to center on our current latitude and longitude. Okay. So the next thing is that we want to create a cover map view object property. You can uh, add this at the top, which is here. And uh, let's create a cover folder, and then we want to put all the files that are related to the cover map view inside the cover folder. So let's create a folder cover folder and then uh, inside of it we create a cover map view dot pi and okay this will be the code for our cover map view let's copy it and then before I explain further let's also create a cover map view dot kv oops cover map view dot kv and then let's copy this code and put it inside. So as this cover map view uh, is being created, uh, we will set the zoom to 16. Um, so you will not have, uh, if you have zoom of less than 16, um, it will reset back to 16. And then, uh, yeah. So on let and on run, which means as the, as the user change the latitude and longitude of the map view, we are going to call this function in the cover map view dot pi, and then we will have our GPS blinker in the map view as well. So um, in this cover map view class, we have this uh, start getting cover in view of view. So this will be called as the user stay on the screen for one second or more. Okay, so this function is called when the user stay on the map view screen uh, for one second or more. And then uh, this function is going to get the max and mean latitude and longitude on the user screen. So uh, if I navigate around on the map view, uh, I will get the max and mean latitude and longitude on the screen once I stand at that screen for one second or more. Then I'm going to send a get request to the base URL plus the path of the cover availability and request.get json.load. Uh, change the string to a JSON format and then we we'll get a response. So in the response key value I will get all the cut back. Okay. So um, first I will get the latitude and longitude. In this case uh, the latitude and longitude are combined in one location attribute. So I will first get the location but I will split um, I will split it. Okay. Um, because uh, yeah, when you get uh, the key location from uh, the car park response, uh, it's going to be a combination of latitude and longitude. So I want to split it, and then I will check uh, if that long list uh, position number one is more than the minimum long on less than and less than the maximum loan and then also I will check position 0 which is the latitude is more than minimum let and less than maximum let of the screen if yes okay then I will add uh, I will check uh, the kappa ID is it already uh, added to the screen because later on we will use this self dot cover ID to append all the cover ID that has already been added to the screen I mean to the map view so we will check if it's already added to the map view uh, if yes then we will continue the loop otherwise we will add them to the map view okay so when we add it add the cover to the map view we also passing um, the latitude and longitude of that cover okay so here what we're trying to do is to check the lot type is it uh, uh, type C or type H or type Y and then we will use different uh, class of marker uh, to display the icon differently okay so basically we will have three different classes of marker uh, which we are going to import at the top 
and then later on in this uh, folder we are going, going to create our uh, cardboard marker.py as well okay so here we are keep tracking we are appending the cover ID once we have added the ID to the map view okay so the next thing is we want to create kappa marker.py and then we will copy this so you can see that we have three different class and then the icons are different okay so this marker is going to take the kappa data from the map view and then it's going to pass it to the kappa pop-up menu and then the next thing is we have to create a kappa pop-up menu and here we will have our md dialog okay so this kappa pop-up menu the header is going to be all the header that we have in the data hub id area development location available lot lot time agency okay these are all the header then we are going to set attribute of the value that is being passed here to the header okay and then uh, this is going to assign the value of uh, all this attribute to the kappa md dialog in our kvmd.uix.dialog okay so in the uh, kvmd.uix.dialog we have already created a class called kappa md dialog if you are copying me if you're copying the uh, kvmd from my github repository so you already have this in your kvmd this is a customized uh, MD dialog that I've created in the Kiwi MD. Okay. And the next step. Yeah, as I explained here in the Kiwi MD dot dialog, you will have this class, Kappa MD dialog class. And then yeah, you have all this as a string property to store the attribute value. And then also as under the builder dot load string, you will also have uh, this available. We should this one is going to become your MD dialog that is going to pop up as you click on the marker. Okay. And then of course we need to import the map view to the main.py. Let's put it here. And lastly, under uh, the cardboard folder, we also want to create a cardboard GPS helper.py. And let's copy this. So the cardboard GPS helper is going to uh, request permission on your Android device to get access to your GPS location. Once we get the uh, once we are uh, being able to access to the GPS, it will call the function called update blinker position. So this is going to get the latitude and longitude of your GPS. And then we are going to update the map view location. Okay. So and also we are going to center, uh, sorry, we are going to update the blinker location and also we are going to center your map view. And then we are going to update the current latitude and longitude on your map view. Okay, if you did not turn on the GPS on your device, it will going it is going to run a dialog, uh, MD dialog to tell you that you have a GPS error. You need to enable GPS access for the app to function properly. Okay. And uh, yeah, since we have a GPS helper script being defined, then we also need to import it to the main.py. If the screen name is cardboard screen, let's put it here. save it and last but not least we want to create a header for the cardboard screen which is uh, this one okay so we have to uh, create a uh, python file called cardboard type label.py uh, let's see probably i will put it inside the cardboard folder And then I will copy all this and put it here. Okay, so this one is going to be uh, going to have four sections. Uh, each of them is the first one is going to be only a label. It's going to only a label, cup type label. 
and then the second one is going to be image and label being added to the fruit layout so we have an image and then a label uh, then we add both of them to the fruit layout and then the third section is going to have an image and label as well and then the fourth section also going to have an image and label as well so eventually we want to add all these fruit layout first, second, third and fourth to this class okay and uh, we need to import this class to the main.py and then we want to instantiate it uh, as we uh, start the app so during the on start function in the on start function we are going to add this okay save it okay then I think uh, that's all for now let's run the app oops we have an arrow um, let's see Main dot pine line two nine two on start. Oops. Um, hero cupboard type. Um, let's see. Probably we didn't save. self dot root dot id cupboard screens cupboard screen dot id cupboard type yeah oh we forgot to save this one okay okay let's run it again okay so now as you click on the parking boom now we have a header and then we have car heavy vehicles and motorcycle so uh, this is our map view then you see this one is our motorcycle parking and then these are the details cover id aerial development latitude and longitude available lots lot time and agency okay and then we can also click on the car type there you go cover ID area development location available lots lot time and agency okay so as we navigate around no other car park available yeah yeah so other car park will be shown okay um yeah then in the next tutorial we are going to cover the bicycle parking and then I think uh, that will be the end of our app and then we can start to build the APK file and release it to our Android device. Okay, so if you have any question, feel free to leave your comment below, and then uh, I will try to answer that. Otherwise, uh, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.